Avionics is crucial for modern aircraft, integrating electronic systems that enhance navigation, communication, and overall efficiency. In this episode, we hear from professionals in avionics. Avionics is quite important because we ensure that our equipment, the communication, navigation, and surveillance equipment are working according to the ICAO standards. ICAO stands for International Civil Aviation Organization. It's a specialized agency of the United Nations that sets international standards and regulations for civil aviation, including navigation. Daily routine for avionics section really starts with uh, knowing the status of our equipment. We run shifts, so this station is run 24 hours a day. So during the night we have someone working. So when I come, the first thing I'll do is, first of all, check what happened yesterday and where we are. Once we do the inspections, we certify that everything is fine. We write daily status reports as at that particular moment, the status of the equipment. With these reports, there is the analysis to get a situational awareness, uh, preparation of reports, of course, to top management. And then with that, we go into the daily routines. We work with uh, a number of engineering departments and also other service departments as well. We coordinate in uh, much of the works, for example, with electrical during the flight calibration uh, procedures. Also the civil engineering department, we also coordinate with them during our maintenance works because some of the facilities that we maintain, they sit on uh, uh, civil engineering structures. So the avionics uh, department looks at the communication equipment, the navigation equipment, the surveillance equipment and the ancillary equipment. There are various types of navigation equipment which you will find at an airport. So I'll give you just a few. Aircraft as they fly from point A to point B, they will need to navigate through a certain route. And on that, uh, for them to fly that route, they will need equipment like a VOR. Behind us is actually a navigation aid called the Doppler, very high frequency omnidirectional range. Uh, what the VOR does is that it actually gives to the pilot the bearing information or azimuth information from the aircraft in space, in space to relative to the VOR ground station. To be honest, the machines we operate, they are quite complex and it requires a lot of dedication, learning and also reference to the documentation which we have and guidance. We get guidance from ICAO and also we have uh, the standard operating procedures and work instructions and also the equipment manuals. We just don't work uh, from the knowledge we have. We follow the standard in order to reduce that complexity of the equipment. So the avionics section actually carries out uh, uh, maintenance of uh, various equipment in terms of, uh, for instance, how serviceable is this particular equipment on a daily basis. For instance, the localizer, just as an example, among other equipment, are we getting the correct signal being emitted for this aircraft to actually use this signal? If avionics never existed, definitely will not have the quality signal being transmitted with high integrity and also apart from that you find that the equipment will not be available every time for the aircraft to, to be able to navigate and for also for the air traffic controllers to be able to communicate effectively with the pilots and i think that would do make the airport a very dangerous place and i don't think it would even exist here. Yes, avionics has progressed so much in terms of technology because in the old days we were actually using analog equipment, but now we are using actually digital equipment that is actually uh, operating on fiber platforms. So we stay in tune with the new technology through meetings, trainings, and uh, collaborating with international bodies. We do collaborate with the IATA, uh, okay? We are mentioning of these uh, facilities. They have to be flight checked, 
by an independent uh, international organization. IATA does and ICAO do come to check to ensure that, uh, you know, all the standard and the recommended practices are followed. We are also a member of uh, SADIC VISAT. We are a key participant into that and they were involved in the designing of uh, uh, that system. We do collaborate with the, our neighboring countries also. We have letters of agreements uh, with all the neighboring countries. In the aviation industry, if somebody flies from Europe, when they are here in Zambia, they expect uh, what they were experiencing here or the facility they will have the same as they are uh, in Europe. So it is uh, very, very expensive. Uh, Zamb government formed Zambia Airport precisely to ensure that the resources realized from the aviation industry are plowed back. So we operate on a cost uh, recovery uh, basis. Okay, Zambia Airport has done very well so far in ensuring that there is reinvestment in terms of facilities. Our communication, navigation and surveillance equipment are maintained to a very high standard in such a way that aircrafts may not even collide or even crash because the equipment is working very, very well, reliable, available and have integrity. A lot of lives are at risk, so we make sure that you are as professional as possible, you understand uh, the working instructions and the standard operating procedures that we, we, we follow. Working in avionics has been quite exciting because I've, I've been able to learn new things almost on end every day and it, it's a career that requires improvement on daily, daily basis. Seated and knowing that this equipment which this aircraft is using, actually I do participate in its maintenance. It's quite encouraging and uh, it's a motivation to you people who would wish actually to join even the aviation industry, either in avionics, air traffic control, and uh, it's quite an enjoyable uh, field. Someone who wants to pursue a career in avionics, one of the major qualifications is you have to have at least uh, a grade 12 certificates with at least uh, five credits, in, uh, including mathematics and sciences. Okay, and then you have to be trained in uh, electronics, engineering, either diploma level, that is the entry level, uh, aeronautical electronics, uh, aeronautical engineering, uh, telecoms, uh, also electrical and electronics engineering. So those are the build the basic foundation for you to integrate into avionics engineering. My final words to the viewers, especially to start with the, 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 the females, the girls out there, is that there's no place only meant for men. Aviation, business or anything, you can do it. All you need to do is to know what you want and work towards it. So I would encourage the girls out there, the females out there, to go for it and not limit yourself. To the viewers, uh, this is to assure you that um, uh, you have a very capable team in Zambia airports. You have a very capable technical team uh, that has ensured that the airspace the, uh, the facilities you enjoy in the airports are to the international uh, uh, standards. For the young ones who would like to join the aviation industry, whether being a pilot or uh, whether being an engineer like me, especially the girl child, uh, they are most welcome to come into this field. Thank you. Welcome to your gateway to possibilities. We're here to serve you. We're proud to keep you safe. We're happy to be part of your journey, providing a seamless process from start to end.
We care about your experience as you travel through the gateway to possibilities. Keep flying.